So we featured Google Flight Search on a segment recently, and you know I don't have time to go into all the details when I'm on air, but I wanted to show you um, some of the, the cool things that you can do. So within Google, not only can you go to flights.google.com, which is fine, but you can also just type it right into Google Search. Um, let's just say um, flights from LAX to um, Charlotte. And uh, so I'll press Enter, and has of course its ads first but if you scroll down you'll see whoops scroll down a little smoother here for you you can see here that it automatically shows up approximately what my prices are and it picks a date nearby so a couple weeks out and um, and I think it does it for maybe four or five days so it looks like five in this case but anyhow so you can immediately get an idea of what prices are running for that particular flight. Now it is show sponsored here, I guess because it's sponsored by Google or some of their sponsors, I'm not really sure, but it's not a standard advertisement like those up above it that say ad. So anyhow, we um, get more flight results, so I'm going to click on that. Oh, and by the way, before I actually even click on that, in my search results, you can go in and actually change the dates um, right here and never even leave the search screen. So. Um, you know, that's really quick. If you're just trying to get a ballpark, hey, what would it cost me to go to LA in September or from LA to Charlotte? What would it cost me? You could just do it right here from within the search screen. So um, I'm going to go here to more Google flight results. So this is the same thing as starting off at flights.google.com that I showed in the segment today. So if you want to get to the detailed screen immediately, um, you can just go to flights.google.com or alternatively, if you want to do it within the search bar, you can do it within the Google search bar. So, um, really great um, uh, features here. So, one of the things um, that I like to point out, okay, so in this case, these are among the lowest fares within plus or minus three days. They will also show here tips if you travel two days sooner or two days later, um, you can save $72 or anything like that. So, it'll, a lot of times it'll give you a great little tip here if you have flexible dates for travel. Um, you can also look at nearby airports. Okay, and sometimes it are used to actually even show the prices next to that. I don't know why that's not showing right now. Oh, here it is. Okay, I guess it's based on the destination. So here's the pricing um, for nearby airports. So you can actually see that very quickly and easily right within the search. Um, so if you have nearby airports, maybe South Carolina, um, Greensboro, or Greenville Spartanburg might be less expensive so um, in fact they are in this case so it tells you right there without ever having to do another search um, the other thing that you can do um, is you can you know of course you can set your stops you can set your um, price range if you have preferred airline you can set a preferred airline so maybe you never want to fly Delta or JetBlue or whatever you could deselect those um, with times, you can actually set your outbound and return time. So if you're traveling for business and you want very specific times, or if you're traveling on vacation, you want to leave in the morning so you have time at your destination in the afternoon, you can set that if that's important to you. And then there's some more options. Um, always show um, separate tickets, um, different airport options, things like that. Now, up here, if you're traveling with somebody, be sure and change your number of people that are flying because that will affect your results for sure especially if you're flying with kids and um, but anyhow so you can do all of that right here within one screen so you don't have to get into finding the flight and then realizing you know three steps into purchasing it that they don't have enough seats for everybody that's going to be traveling so you can set all of those things up front right here which is really nice and of course you can flip by day by day if you want to here's a great example where I did switch this to Sunday April 30th and it says hey Tip, <laughs> save $61 if you leave on Saturday, one day earlier. So um, that's really great. So I, I love that feature. And then here, they actually moved this up. This used to be down on the bottom, but they moved this up. Track prices. Save this trip to track price changes and receive price alerts and travel tips by email. So if you click this to on, um, it will send you an email notice if that price changes. So in other words, if you're traveling out a few months, and you're waiting for the price to change, you'll actually get an email alert when that price goes up or down. Now, I will tell you a little secret. I use an app <laughs> that actually gives me that notification on the phone, and that's an app called Hopper. Love that app. It's kind of similar to this, um, 
but um, it's another great travel app that I use. And so I like track prices here from Google, which is great. You get it an email, but on Hopper, it'll tell me, give me that notice, like as a notification, and I can actually literally go right there and then book it. Um, so that's pretty cool. So those are both two, two great options. Um, we won't get into explore destinations in detail. This is a whole thing where you can like plan your whole <laughs> travel. So if you're going to, let's say to Europe or Paris, it'll help you plot out exactly what to do over a couple of days within Paris, what the highlights are, things like that. That's what destinations are. It's another really great travel feature that we can dig into more later. Um, some of the things that I like, if you click up here on the date, um, you can look at your calendar and of course set your date. It gives you pricing, the lowest prices on any given date, okay. which is great. If you do flexible dates, this gives you those grids that you see at a lot of other airline services, okay, which isn't bad. It's good. Okay, so you can kind of scan that. But my favorite is the price graph, which I showed in the TV segment. And I love this because it really shows you those highs and lows. And this gives you out, I think it is, I think the last time I checked, it was actually going out 12 months. I think it used to only go out six months, but now it's actually going out 12 months. So if you're looking at taking a big trip over the next year, you can see where prices are. Okay, so those are summer months, they're pretty high. And then there's times where it really starts dipping down. Let's see if we can find a low price on this one. Let's see if we get into January. Okay, so price is actually, it's not so drastic on this one. A lot of times you can get where it's um, super drastic, where it drops way down certain times of year. So um, this actually kind of peaks during summer months. So, but I love the price graph. Like you can do this to Europe. So let's say I want to go to LAX to um, London. Let's see what we get. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna say, oh, it already is in the price graph. Okay, so here you can really see, this is a good example of drastic price differences. So depending on time of year. So if you want to go to London from LAX, you know, um, Saturday, April 8th is not a good time to do it if you're concerned about pricing, <laughs> but yet it drops really low in May, late April, May, I guess it's past Easter travel and spring breaks and those types of things. And then it starts climbing again as you get into, um, into summer. And you can see that trend even down here in this bottom, um, graph. Okay. So this is a little more I guess vivid example of what I was trying to show where just you know you can really see this price differences and you can click on any of these bars and it'll tell you exactly what the pricing is on that given day and if you choose days you can click on any of these and reset your days you can see exactly what would happen for a six-day trip starting on that day so hey it's really low right here I'm flexible if I click on that um, my price goes down to as low as 440 okay, from the peak of 1200 and you can set it for six days, five days, whatever it is that you want. So if I actually go for seven days, it actually increases in price. Watch that graph. See how it's switching on me, okay, based on my days and the prices. Okay, so pretty interesting. But anyhow, I love the price graph. I literally use that to plan um, our family uh, travel for vacation. All right, when you're done with that, um, you can track the prices, like I mentioned, and then um, this is $471 from Wow Airline. I didn't know they flew out of LAX. Okay, so you can click on that, and I'll go ahead and take that flight, and choose the next flight on return. Oops, looks like I don't have a lot of choices on my return for that price, but let's go ahead and select that. Now, in this case, it looks like it might be two different airlines, so... Um, I'm not exactly sure how the booking will work on that. I think I have to book it separately. Book with WOW and Norwegian. This flight requires two separate tickets, which need to be booked individually. Okay, so it tells you right there. Now, if this were an American flight or a United flight or a Delta flight, then you would just click on this, and it would actually take you right to Delta American. It would fill in all that information. You can purchase it directly with the airline. So in this case, it's actually two separate tickets, so it's telling you how to... Um, that you'll have to book two separate flights. So this is really great. If you have picked these specific flights, you can actually track that price, that exact flight, and you can say track price down here as well. Now, if you're not logged in, okay, so you do have to be logged into your Google account, and um, I'm not logged in at this particular moment, um, but 
you do have to be logged in and that's how it knows your email address. So whenever you log into your Gmail account or your Google Drive, then it knows that you're logged in and you can use that. Um, share this itinerary. You can actually send this to yourself or share it to somebody else and say, hey, how's this look? You want to go with me <laughs> to Europe? And you can actually share it. So um, really, really great um, features. This is literally how I book a lot of my travel, the majority of it. And uh, someday I'll get into um, Explore Destinations and all the cool features there. All right. Hope that helps. If you have questions, feel free to post them in comments. If you like it, appreciate it. If you'd like, subscribe, anything to support, um, to support us, that would be fabulous. So 